Hello again, we begin with news. Portia Solomon, Portia Gaba will join me a little later on. Now let's look at the first one, which is on cholera and the Hollywood Polyclinic is overwhelmed by cholera cases. The facility has recorded 957 cases since the outbreak of the disease. On Wednesday, August 20th, 2014, the clinic had recorded 65 cases by the time the news team visited. Meanwhile, the Ghana Medical Association is demanding an urgent national response to tackle cholera. Almost every available space at the Kolibu Polyclinic has been occupied by patients with cholera. This wooden structure originally housed cholera patients, but the number of cases keeps increasing. Twelve deaths have so far been recorded. Weaker patients are compelled to use this bucket to attend to nature's call. Benches from the outpatient department are being used as beds for patients. Currently, the polyclinic is constructing an emergency toilet facility solely for patients with cholera. Authorities are also bent on utilizing every available space at the hospital to cater for patients. They have also had to improvise using wood to hang drips. Very bad. Very, very bad. The problem is we don't even have beds for them. As you can see, they are on the benches. And they are the same benches that when cholera outbreak ends, other patients will sit on. So how is it going to be? Are we sucking cholera or we are still implementing it? Go to the nearest government hospital or polyclinic. We don't want private because it's the private that is killing the patients. Those who were then 11 who were brought in dead were all from private referrals because private don't have the fluids, the anti cholera fluids. It's only government hospitals that have. Meanwhile, the Ghana Medical Association says it is worried about the increasing number of cases and wants a national response to tackle the disease. Okay, we, we think that this cholera menace has now become a bigger problem that. We need a proper national response, a coordinated effort, just like we are trying to do for Ebola. Doctors, the nurses, all health professionals are stretched to their limits. The facilities are being overwhelmed by these cases, and the numbers keep increasing by the day. If we don't take time, it's even going to collapse a lot of our healthcare delivery structures we have in place. The association is also concerned non cholera patients are bearing the brunt of the outbreak. The attention of the health professional on the cholera case is not because that's what they want to do, but most of these patients come in at a point where if you don't attend to them quickly, they may lose their lives. People come to the OPDs and they are forced to sit there for hours without getting the needed attention. All because the health professionals are busy working and trying to sort out this cholera menace. 